Rob Nelson here with your weekly Untamed Science update. Now, if you've been watching the environmental news as of late, you've probably noticed there are a lot of mass strandings. I'm talking about turtles and whales and dolphins. So who's to blame? Mass stranding. I'm not just talking about a stranding. It had a stinking whale of a problem. Now, mass strandings are different. You see, a mass stranding is when you have a whole group of individuals that are usually healthy that all end up on the beach at the same time. So to tease out what's happening, let's look at each in turn. First, let's look at the turtles. Turtles, turtles. In particular, let's look at the turtles off of Cape Cod. Now, turtles are actually interesting because they're cold-blooded. They want to stick around warm water. What we notice is that the turtles move north with the summer and they move south as the winter comes. So around November, the turtles are heading south, but Look at the shape of Cape Cod. Basically, it's shaped like a giant turtle death trap. The turtles know which way is south based on the magnetic field. And if you have a giant spit of sand, which is what Cape Cod is, the turtles can't figure out how to migrate around that tip. And when it gets cold, they get hypothermic and then they get stranded and wind pushes them up on the beaches. So it's really sad. Now, let's look at whales and dolphins. Whales and dolphins, whales and dolphins. The group is split up into two branches. You have the baleen whales and you have the toothed whales. Now, 95% of the animals that strand are the toothed whales. And of those, most of the individuals that strand are going to be the super social groups. And that means that if you have one individual that accidentally gets stranded or goes up onto the beach, then a lot of them will not want to leave that member of their pod and then they all get in trouble, which is a big problem. But nobody really knows why dolphins or whales strand, but here are some of the main causes people have attributed to the strandings. Geomagnetic navigation problems. Basically what that means is that if the dolphins or whales are sensing too little or too much of the magnetic field at that one area, then it kind of messes them all up and they get stranded. Environmental changes. High winds or storms that are messing with the tides and just mess up the animals. Navy using intense sonar. Now, the sonar used by the Navy is really powerful. And in a few cases, the Navy has actually been blamed and they've admitted to stranding a few animals. But most strandings probably can't be attributed to the Navy. Number four, the shape of the beach. Now, if your beach is really shallow and the animals are using sonar to find their way around, and the sonar is reflecting off of everything, then it can kind of confuse the animals. Finally, remember, we're probably not looking for one answer to the stranding problem. So really, there's probably a lot of things at work here. And so we're just trying to figure out how do we limit those so that we can reduce the number of animals surfacing on beaches. Of course, we have a lot more videos to watch. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our new channel right here. And I definitely want to say a big thank you to Olay for helping make this video possible.